happy Sunday you guys. I hope everything is going well. Um, for today's video I wanted to do I guess like a little bit of self-care Sunday and do some transitions here and there. Um, honestly it's been a rough almost two weeks. There's just so much going on and um, usually like I try to stay focused and I try to keep busy but even with that I just felt like my my mental health went from like really good to like down here and uh, it's just been a rough week and so on Friday I decided that I wanted to go do a little self-care because I felt like it was affecting me and I didn't really um I wasn't too happy with myself and like with everything that was going on so um one of the things that I did on Friday was after work since we got off early I decided to go to Ulta and just go purchase things that I've been wanting but also kind of do like a mini shop for me since I never really do it like I'll buy things here and there but as I've mentioned before um I don't know if penny pincher is the right word but I like to save because um we didn't grow up poor but we were we were raised and um given what we needed like the basics and the essentials and there was a while where um we may have been struggling with money and ever since that time i guess one of my fears is that even though like i'm working right now and like moving along in life i'm worried that something may happen and along the lines of if something were to happen that i might not have savings so i guess that's why i like to save my money and work as hard as possible and like if asked if I want to work hours I definitely don't pass down on the chance and I do buy things for myself I just don't usually buy anything expensive if you ask the people around me they'll also agree but I just decided on Friday that like I've been in such a funk I've been feeling kind of down and I feel like it's just affecting me as a person that I just wanted to go do something for myself so um, I ran quite a tab at Ulta it's it's kind of bad um i'll tell you the grand total at the end of this video but i realized um over these last two weeks besides everything going on in my life um one of our local rite aids in our city is actually closing down so um on this particular day or the day before everything at rite aid was 50 percent off so I ended up going the next night after work and I purchased a couple of things because 50% off, you know? And I'm like, let's just see what there is. And not just that, but I had also ordered some things off of Amazon that I wanted to do, uh, I guess like a little mini haul of all the things that I bought from these different companies. So first thing first, um, since I did say it's gonna be a self-care Sunday video, this is one of the things that I purchased on Amazon. Um, I feel like when it comes to like taking care of your face, I'm not the best. I do like the bare minimum and I am getting older. And one thing that I definitely don't do every single night, once a week if I'm not feeling lazy, is like under eye care. So this is from the brand Lua & Lua Pure 24 Gold Revitalizing Eye Treatment Mask. And I honestly don't remember how much this costs. I'll look into it and I'll put the price down here. But it comes with 30 patches. It contains hydrolonic acid. It's supposed to help reduce the appearance of dark circles, puffiness, fine lines, and wrinkles. Also, by the way, I really do hope you guys can hear me. Um, I kind of caved in for this video and turned on my portable air conditioner just because it like, gets very hot. And while I film this little video, I'm not trying to sweat. So this is what the pouches look like. Um, they're kind of cute. And then like in the back, there's like a picture of like a little panda. So I'm going to be attaching these under my eye and then one of the other things that I picked up at Ulta was um, this face mask from the brand Vitamin Beauty C, Vitamin C Beauty, sorry. And this is a Blue Sea Kale Grapefruit Deep Pore Exfoliating Face Mask. I have very deep pores and I feel like they're noticeable if I'm not wearing makeup but also depending on the type of makeup, I feel like sometimes the makeup enlarges my pores. So I want to be more conscious and self-aware about that. So I'm hoping this helps. I paid $11 for this at Ulta, which I don't think is bad because I got 8.5 fluid ounces. Give me a second. I need agua. 
so i'm just gonna go off a of camera right now real quick and attach both these things onto my face and we'll be right back okay we're back i know i look a little bit wild um i literally feel like santa claus which is like smeared frosting or whipped cream all over his face but this is what it looks like i don't want i can't apply the mask correctly and i somehow managed to get some of the mask onto my hair but we're gonna roll with it so for this one the face mask it says to keep it on your skin for eight to ten minutes but i'm gonna keep it on the entirety while i film i don't see any harm in it um i'll probably only be applying this once a week um there's no directions as to how often you should apply it while this one says that it should stay on your skin for about 20 to 30 minutes also this will only be applied once maybe twice a week i'm going more for once because i have another eye cream that i can use um honestly not sure if i put it correctly i will be zooming in so no worries um so now i want to do my little ulta haul with you guys <laughs> somewhat little but let me show you this is the big bag of purchases that i made the cashier lady kind of underestimated my haul um my purchases she gave me everything in a small bag so when she started putting everything in and like lifted the handles to like pass me the bag like the handles literally ripped off so let's get to it the first item that i got honestly was one um it was a perfume that i've been wanting i've been wanting an ariana granny perfume and i actually ended up picking up the one that's called ariana grande cloud originally i wanted the ariana grande rem one um that's the one that had caught my attention because it was like a crystal ufo thingy going on and i thought it would smell good and so i when i went to ulta and i stopped by the perfume section i noticed that she actually had three different brands of perfume honestly for the longest time i thought she only had two the cloud one and the rem one the other one i forgot the name of it but i saw three um around the summertime i love doing more like perfumes and body sprays lotions i do have my bath and body work lotions my victoria's secret lotions but since it's so hot outside i don't like really putting them on because i feel like they're sticky they smell good but they're sticky and then i feel icky and gross so i go more for like aveeno or luberdum and then i just like to throw on a quick perfume or body spray um i'm actually surprised that i ended up with the cloud one i was smelling all three of them and this one caught my attention the most because i'm honestly really into sweet scents i know most people are into like musty i do like them here and there but honestly sweet scents are my favorite and this packaging is beautiful um it smells so good and i cannot wait to apply this i wish there was somewhere that had the notes maybe it has it on the bottle uh i'm not sure let me google this for you guys real quick so the cloud perfume it says oriental the scent type i may be butchering this but it says gourmand and its keynotes are lavender blossom juicy pear bergamot and then it also says creme de coconut indulgent praline vanilla orchard i can definitely smell the vanilla but it's not overwhelming with sensual musk creamy blonde woods i wanted to buy the smaller bottle but this was literally the last one on the shelf and this one was 64 dollars i don't regret this purchase just because i've been wanting a new perfume for the longest so this was definitely a must the next thing that i got was this mini eyeshadow revolution palette it comes it's an eight set and um i'm not sure what the name is but i actually ended up buying two of them the name of this palette is called forever dynamic serenity and i love these because they're like cool brown top sh top shades and this palette, I don't know if I already said it, it retails for $9 and it just looks like a little tin can. Like, look at this. It's so beautiful in the mirror and whatnot. Um, definitely, definitely gonna try this one out maybe today. Um, I got one for me and one for my best friend. I wanted us to have a matching little mini palette. 
Next, I got another palette, but this one is from ColourPop. It's Lust for Dusk Shadow Press Palette. When I opened this, I just loved it. It was beautiful. Let me, this is the packaging. And look at these colors. They're like twilight, night, vibey colors for like a nice romantic evening to go out or just hang out with friends. I definitely can't wait to mess around with this one. I did use it um, the other day. The shade that I used was Mixer. Um, it's like a violet mauve shade, but it has like a iridescent sparkle to it. And I used it with Eventide. I also used it with Twilight and a little bit of Night Lovers. Um, my only issue with the palette is that it does have kickback. But then again, I feel like that's standard for most ColourPop palettes. So we'll also be using that one. For my brows, I've been looking for new brow pencils because the one that I originally used from L'Oreal, it never seems to be in stock. So I ended up buying from NYX a brow gel in the shade Espresso. I originally wanted a black one, but for some reason, I can't seem to find black any shop that I go to, even Target. So this was as dark as it was going to get and I guess you can use a pencil to outline it. I might use it as a top coat. I'm not too sure I'm going to mess around with this product today. Another thing for eyes that I purchased was this brow pencil, which I finally found one in black. This is, I haven't seen this one. It's a NYX Precision Brow Pencil in um, black and it's supposed to give you a more defined shape so we'll be messing around with this today as well moving on to eyeliners i've been into doing black eyeliner i'm not good at it but with like summer here i like to change it up or sometimes i just want to do like a simple eyeliner and some brows so i ended up purchasing this from ColourPop. it's the, B the bff liquid liner in the shade the hills it's a beautiful green that you could probably wear alone this is what it looks like and then when you open it i do like the tip um i hope that it's easy to work with and it doesn't fold and bend all over the place so we'll try that out hopefully this week to see another thing that i've got was um lash glue the little tubey lash glue that they usually give you to apply your fake eyelashes i struggle with that so badly i can put it on but my issue is putting it correctly on my eyelid and it I, it doesn't come out perfect I always have to fix it and there's just so many problems so I picked up this kiss lash glue liner in the shade translucent I've been reading a lot and like watching a lot of videos where people say this is definitely better than little tubey lash glue I wanted the translucent one there is a black one but I feel like this would be so much more easier to work with so we'll see how this goes today Moving on to, wait, we have one more eye products. Another one that I got was this NYX liner stick um, in the shade Periwinkle Pop. I love this. I think it's like a purpley looking one. I don't know if I can open it. Um, I cannot open it, but if I get to it this week, I will show you. I'm definitely thinking that this aligner pencil might go amazing with this palette. So we'll be we'll be trying that out. Then I picked up two things for the lips. The first thing that I picked up was this um, LA Girl Ultimate Lip Intense Auto Stay Liner in the shade Keep It Spicy. Like, look at the back of this. This is my one of my favorite shades for the summer i love putting on browns tans pinky nudes those are my favorite summer colors and then i wanted to give the morphe lip products a try so i picked up morphe liquid lipstick in the shade true story it is a matte lipstick and the packaging is sleek i want to say this was like nine or eight dollars i could be wrong but i'm gearing towards that and then when I swatched it, I instantly loved it. Definitely can't wait to try that. Going back to the eyes, um, I picked up a mascara. I've noticed that I don't really have a lot of mascaras except that small 
black one, the Mirabella one, the miniature size that I showed you on my last video. So um, I ended up picking up the bit, the White and Wild Big Papa. Um, it's mascara, mascara. Sorry, I don't know what happened there. Um, and I'm hoping it helps. It's pretty big, so I'm hoping it's voluminous on the days where I don't want to put lashes, which is almost every day. And then I actually got one more eyeshadow palette. It's the mini one. It's from Too Faced. Um, this one is called That's My Jam. There were so many miniature ones. I wanted to pick up two more, but this one alone was $27. It came with eight colors, and oh, the packaging is what sold me. When you open it, it smells so good. It smells, it honestly smells like berry jam. Look at the colors. I wanted to get the Matchbox one too, but I have two eyeshadow palettes that have red. One of them is like all reds, and then another one that has red tones to it. So I didn't need it. But now that I put this one to this one, the colors are not the same. But I'm pretty sure if I went back to the Revolution Isle and I was looking for one similar to this, I could definitely find it again. This one was $9, this one was $27, but it's so adorable. I had to get this one. I don't know if I want to use this one today. And then another thing that I got, this one was my bad. I picked this up and I put it in my basket thinking that it was a six piece blush set because I've been looking for like a little compact with maybe three to six blushes since I feel like I don't have many. I got too excited. I didn't stop to read any, anything. And my brilliant mind for some reason in that moment decided that all six were blushes. But when I actually got home and looked at the products that night, I realized that two were supposed to be, let me see, oh, two shades are highlight shades, two are blush, and then you have two bronzer ones. And um, this was about $44. I don't know if I wanna return this, cause, uh, I don't know. I was talking to my best friend about it and she told me to hold on to it um, because I might like it and to test it out, so we'll see. These two are the highlighting shades. I definitely love this highlight, it's beautiful. These two are the blushes. If I'm being honest, I don't like this pink blush. This is extremely pink and it's not something that I would care to. Um, but this sand one is definitely me. And um, these two are like the bronzer shades. I'm not sure if it'll work for me, but I love the mirror. And it smells like coconut. It smells amazing. So we'll give us a try and I'm still on the fence about to, um, returning this. One of the few last things that I ended up purchasing at Ulta was a body sugar scrub from the brand Tree Hut. Fan, uh, sorry, from the brand Tree Hut. I really like their body scrubs. Um, I noticed that Target does sell some, but the options that they have at Target are very limited. Oh my gosh, my eye thing is going down. Oh ah, my gosh. I don't know if I put them on correctly. Honestly, I couldn't tell. Give me a second, you guys. Oh my gosh, I caught We fixed it. So as I was saying, Target only seems to have four or five selections. And the one that I have right now, it's like a blossom, sugared blossom one. It smells so good, but I've had that one since I moved into my old place, the condo. And that one's just about running out. I do use it twice a week. Um, the days that I usually use it are Tuesday nights and Saturday afternoons when I shower. And this one is called Sugared Fantasy. I was going for like a sweet smelling one or I had in mind that I wanted a watermelon one. This one, it smells sweet, but it also has like citrus undertones to it. It smells so good. So good. I can't wait to put this one into this. And then one of the last things that I ended up buying at Ulta were temporary tattoo stickers. Um, this is Inks by Danny. They're temporary tattoos. This was $11. Um, what sold me was the three little dots and the smiley face. 
and the cute little temporary tattoos in the back. I will definitely be trying these off today after I take this all off, do some makeup. Um, I'm sorry, after like I take off all this face stuff, I'm gonna rinse, probably try to do a full, full face of makeup and then mess around with some temporary tattoos. Um, but that's about it for my Ulta haul. Give me a second, I need more agua. I'm so thirsty today. And then, um, moving on, I'll show you my little Target haul first. So, I went to Target recently and I picked up three things from Target. The first thing that I picked up was a new, um, lotion. This is from Navia. It's oil infused lotion. It's cherry blossom. It has jojoba oil. The reason why I got this one is because I'm just about done with my Lubridum one. Let me show you guys. This is my Lubridum mini lotion. I do like it. However, I feel like it's not hydrating enough for, for my feet especially. So I feel like I have to double, triple hydrate with this at night after a shower in the morning. And then I don't know what the third time is, but there's a third time. So when this was just about running out, there's barely thing barely anything in here i literally have to go to grab the rest of it so um i ended up getting this um supposedly it's dermatologist recommended it's vanny cream moisturizing cream um my boyfriend's brother has this i tried it a while back and for some reason well it's been like months back when i tried his it it felt good and it felt hydrating right but when i bought this one i'm not sure how i feel about it I honestly, I have a love-hate relationship with this one, and it's because when I put it on, it feels very, like, tacky and kind of sticky to the touch that, like, it kind of grosses me out putting it on my feet and my legs, but give it a couple of seconds and that feeling goes away. So, and it, it does work, I just, I don't know, I love it and I hate it, so I don't know if I want to return it or if I want to keep using it. So, and then... Lubridum is good, it's just not hydrating enough for my feet, and my feet are extremely dry, and they get cracked easily, and I also get calluses. So we're going to give this one a try, and see how that works. It smells so good, it smells so good. This paired with a perfume, amazing. And then um, I picked up perfume, this was last week, this is from the brand P Pacifica. I feel like they just launched this. I have I've already taken it out of the packaging. It's Pacifica and the scent is called Kindred Spirit Rose Dust. And it essentially says natural raw perfume, crushed hazy rose dust, Myra, and the scent of piney lemon and Palo Santo paper love notes. At the bottom it says, every true beauty knows it's what's on the inside that matters. Formulated without parabens, pythalites, and pro propylene glycol. Um, this is what it looks like. I didn't come with a cap. And then I should have looked at all the other perfumes that they had there from Pacifica to check to see if they had a cap. Because I feel like it might have. And the one that I picked up didn't. It smells so good. It smells sweet, but it smells musty too. Like cotton candy. And vanilla but not overwhelmingly sweet this smells delicious um, I have been using it this was either 23 or 24 dollars another thing that I picked up were these hair extension clips um, not extension clips these hair clips from the brand Kristen eyes I think there were four of these as you can tell I already cut two off and I love them because they're star and sparkly shaped and that's about it the other day I went hiking yesterday actually i'll insert the footage at the beginning um and after my hike i decided to make a quick little stop to ramen and i picked up two books the first book that i picked up was sherlock holmes and the christmas the demon i cannot wait to read this book and the other one is mexican gothic I had my eye on this for months and like i've been i don't know if i saw it at Tarshi, but for sure i've seen it on romans and it shows up on my little like homepage when I log on to Amazon. So I'll definitely be reading this. I want to read a couple of pages today and then see what I think. I'll give you, I'll make a separate video on both of these books um, coming whenever I finish reading them. 
And then for the Rite Aid haul that I was talking to you guys about, let me... Okay, so everything at this Rite Aid that I got was 50% off. So the first thing that I got were makeup remover wipes. The brand Yes to Cucumber Soothing Facial Wipes. This was $2. I always need makeup wipes, especially when I'm taking off my makeup. I tend to use two and then I go in with like a cleanser balm, like the one that like melts off the rest of your makeup. And then I will go back in with my Serene Facial Wash. I picked up this Dr. Browner's Peppermint Organic Hand Sanitizer. I love this because it smells so good and it doesn't have a weird film to it after. This was only a dollar and it's my favorite it's Lolita mac and cheese shells so bomb. definitely better than crafts hands down and then this is bedhead tg t-i-g-i after party it's supposed to be a hair product to help smooth um to help your hair look smooth shiny healthy and like control all those flyaways we do use this when i go on second day hair and i wake up and my hair is looking a little bit crazy it does tame it this was three dollars maybe four then i picked up this um i've been seeing this i don't know if it works but it's from the brand l'oreal paris l vibe wonder water and it's supposed you're supposed to like apply it on your hair Leave it on for eight seconds, rinse it off, and it's supposed to help your hair be detangled, look shinier and healthier, silkier and soft and smooth and manageable. We're supposed to use this two three times a week. I will be testing this out on Monday. And then I got two bar soaps. The first one is from Shea Moisturizer. It's cannabis sativa with hemp seed oil, calm and comfort body soap. Smells um i do need bar soap i've been using body wash which i don't think is a big deal but every now and then i do want bar soap and then i picked up one more this is the dr brown's all one hemp lavender pure castile bar soap made with organic oils this one smells so good on the days where you just want to relax i might be testing this one out today with my body scrub and we'll see but that's about it for my haul um I hope you guys enjoyed it um i didn't get i forgot to show you my amazon things um i already showed you guys that i patches from amazon i picked up this kimono too i like the material because it's light it's not thick and it's not hot it's a little bit more on the silky side i don't know if it's made out of silk i'll look it up and let you guys know but it's perfect for like this weather right now i can't stand the heat and the other rope that i use it's comfortable but that's more of like a rope for like the fall especially like the winter time because it keeps me warm and i need something a little bit more loose and comforting that won't make me sweat the moment i get out of the bath um another thing that i got um i've been looking for for the longest time um the galaxy projector lights the brand is called this bliss light skylight and it's galaxy shaped i've been on the hunt for this for three months i couldn't figure out what it was called and i finally found it um uh, i'll insert a clip to show you what my room looks like with this this was 60 dollars. honestly though definitely well worth the purchase um especially because it's something that i've been wanting for the longest time and my room looks so nice at night and it's perfect for watching a movie or just listening to music and chillaxing um that's it for my haul everything that i got it's been over the course of two weeks i'm definitely planning on shooting a video of showing you my vanity and how i've organized everything cause it's a little bit messy right now so i definitely want that video to come up to you come on so you guys can see it and i really hope you enjoyed this video it's something that i've been wanting to do for a while and um it was just a self-care day for me so we'll see how it goes um right now i'm gonna go take these products off of my face thank you guys so much for watching me and i'll catch you guys on my next video thank you bye